for a job? Well, Blunt County is hiring. Blunt County government as a whole is looking at a 2.5% raise for employees starting July 1st to help meet the need. They're hoping this pay increase will help them compete with other employers. But as WHEE 6 on your side reporter Kristen Gallant found out, they're having a difficult time hiring on the budget they have now. From part-time jobs in parks and recs to full-time employment in the sheriff's department, Blount County is hiring, but they're having a hard time finding and keeping employees. The only place that the sheriff's office primary is funded is through property tax. And again, the county commission uh, allots that to each individual uh, office in county government. The Blount County Sheriff's Office is looking to fill several positions. Since January the 1st, we've lost 22 deputies, and that's including corrections and patrol. And the recruitment uh, is very hard to find people that's attracted to us based on the, the pay, the compensation. Even though they've increased their pay. Their starting pay is 37200 It went up from uh, 36400 uh, January the 1st. It went up 2.5%. Sheriff Barong says the issue is trying to compete with other departments in surrounding areas. The competition is also apparent when it comes to hiring seasonal employees for parks and rec. It used to be all these jobs were minimum wage. That's just not the case anymore. So it's, a, it's become a little bit more challenging from a budget standpoint. Their hiring process starts right now. We really have a, a, a large increase in seasonal employees during spring and summer uh, time with day camps, uh, pools, hiring lifeguards, concession stands, that kind of thing. So we see a big increase in hiring seasonal employees those times of year. Executive Director Joe Huff says they're increasing their pay anywhere from 15 to 25 percent from last year for most of their seasonal employees just to compete with other salaries. All Blount County government entities are trying to find more funding for their department, some just for the summer, but others to continue to keep the community safe. And you hear all the time about in the northern states and they saw the adverse effect from defunding the police. There's not much difference between defunding and not funding. We'll have a full list of where you can apply to these jobs and what the requirements may be on WATE.com. Reporting in Blunt County, Kristen Gallant, WATE 6 on your side. All right, Kristen, thank you. The Blunt County Sheriff, by the way, tells us their staff has not increased in a number of years, even though the population in the county has. They hope they can increase their starting salary and also raise the number of employees on top of their already open positions.